Mr. President, another election night in America, another win for women's choice. Oh, Republicans, you think they would have learned a lesson from the elections Tuesday night, getting their butts handed to them in numerous states, almost even losing in Mississippi. But they didn't. They don't like learning, book learning. They don't like that. That's why they need to ban so many books and libraries, which, by the way, so many of their Board of Education uh, folks got their asses handed to them, thank God, that evening in many Republican areas. Oops, people might do some book learning, but not them. They don't learn lessons, like the fact that people were pissed, particularly women in Ohio and Virginia, and voted to protect their rights on Tuesday. Nope, they're just going to keep on insulting women, degrading women, dehumanizing women, looking down upon women. And you know this because we've already seen it. We saw Vivek Ramaswamy, the skinny Beavis lookalike, get up and just personally attack Nikki Haley in a very sexist way. Well, so what? Yeah. But what's wrong with being sexy? I mean, there's no sexist. Sex and in Michigan, we now have an incident that, of course, shows exactly, exactly who the Republicans are. So where do we begin? Charlie LaDuff, whose name sounds suspiciously like a beer, right? The Simpsons or something. I think it's just LaDuff, so he can try to sound like he's important. I'm LaDuff. In any case, Charlie LaDuff, who apparently is somewhat of what we colloquially would call an asshole, wrote a column that said Attorney General Dana Nessel of Michigan, see you next Tuesday. He used the C word to attack the sitting attorney general. The governor of Michigan, as you may know, is Gretchen Whitmer, a woman. The attorney general of Michigan, Dana Nessel, a woman. The secretary of state, Jocelyn Benson, a woman. There, are, you know, Mallory McMorrow, I believe her name is. I think she's a state rep, went viral for a huge speech she gave defending women and defending others. There are a lot of powerful, powerful women in Michigan. They're all Democrats. They're talented, although Ronna McDaniels from Michigan, she's doing a great job. In any case, a lot of powerful Democratic women from Michigan, and they are leading the state. And that is why the state has been prosperous. It's been successful. It's been moving forward. But the weak, little, whiny, flaccid, insecure men, poor guys, they cannot handle this. Oh, does it make it feel ever more small and shriveled for them when a woman tells them what to do? So Charlie LaDuff had his See You Next Tuesday comment in a, one of his columns, which I'm sure are all just as funny and brilliant as that. And he was fired by the Detroit News for it. Here. So the job market uh, is good. It actually is pretty good because Joe Biden has us with the lowest unemployment in like 60 years. So Charlie should probably be able to find another job, even if your writing sucks. Kind of hackneyed, dude. You may want to come up with something more interesting, some more interesting phrasing that's not as obnoxious. But I digress. Uh, one of the Republican, I think she said it was District 23, of course, stood up and defended him because who doesn't defend some jack doodle who stands up and uh, uses the C word against women. And that uh, got our newest viral star, Senator Paula Hanke, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right. She had enough. She had enough. And man, did she get up and give an amazing speech responding here. Watch. Mr. President, this morning, the senator from the 23rd District delivered an invocation on the importance of not intensifying divisiveness. Unfortunately, the senator across the aisle from the 30, 22nd, sorry, the 23rd District has just risen to the microphone to defend someone who has recently said something indefensible. So I'm compelled to push back. Michigan voters elected women to run our state. Whitmer, Nessel, Benson. And the Democratic Caucus of the Michigan Senate for the first time in history is led by a woman and has more women than men. I understand this fact may rankle insecure men like the former Detroit News employee who, lacking control of his emotions, called the Attorney General the C word and got himself fired. What this man and friends need to understand moving forward is that women aren't putting up with this crap anymore. 
and we literally don't have time to coddle members of the He Man Woman Haters Club or whatever it is in someone that would make them say such a thing out loud or make someone like the senator from the 3rd District to be so obsessed with women on vacation. We've got things to do, like run the state of Michigan. Thank you, Mr. President. I ask my remarks be printed in the journal. So as you can see, the Duff got torched. Uh, and Senator Palahanke, I salute you. You deserve that. They deserve that. Sorry, guys. It ain't your little white boy street Christian boys club anymore. I know that's what makes Mike Johnson sad when he and his son are monitoring each other's porn intake, which I bet there's a lot of that going on after Tuesday night because he was pretty sad, I'm sure, about the results of the election. Had to turn somewhere. Better monitor him, kid. Um, we don't want your Christian fundamentalism anymore. We don't want you telling people who they can love. We don't want you telling women they can't control their bodies. We told you that here in Ohio by 57% of the vote. In Virginia, we not only kept the state Senate, we won the state house because Glenn Youngkin, genius that he is, stood up and said, if they took over the state Senate and held the state house, he would ban abortion. Genius, man. Guys, Republicans watching this, I know you all do. Can you please send Glenn Youngkin around the country in 2024 to remind everybody that if you guys win, you will ban abortion? And send him in that cool 80s vest he wears, you know, the puffy vest that I think's looks cool. They, they got destroyed. Uh, they got destroyed largely on the issue of abortion and birth control and women's rights. And so they're going to follow it up by telling you they're going to see you next Tuesday. And by defending in Michigan, Republicans defending a guy who used that to attack the sitting attorney general of the state. Keep going, guys. Run on all the same stuff in 2024. You're just doing great. Folks, if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel right now, at C. Schechter. We are the Blamp channel. Uh, you can follow me at Cliff Schechter on Twitter, at Cliff D. Schechter on threads. But subscribing here is most important, at C. Schechter here on YouTube, and turn on your notifications. And guys, just like we did on Tuesday, go out and make a difference.